Is that the storm? If that's you, don't even think about it. I swear to God, if we lose power, I will set this house on fire so we can stay warm. Okay, okay. Emily found out about John and Elizabeth. So, William was in love with Emily, and John and Elizabeth were having an affair. What was this, Victorian wife swap? <laughs> Maybe Emily was wrong about William, and he wasn't in love with her. What if he was trying to warn her about the affair? Okay, but why wouldn't he just come out and say it? Because it's not always easy telling somebody the truth. Especially when it might ruin everything. So William tried to tell Emily, but then she mistook him as a stalker. Okay, this is so messed up. Well then, Emily found the letters and discovered everything for herself. Huh. She was already pretty depressed about not being able to have a kid. Imagine what finding out about John and Elizabeth would have done to her. Yeah, but if it was her, they would have found the gun, no? Is there anybody else that lived at the house? No, no, it was just William, Elizabeth, and the cook, Chris. They pretty much ran everything. You okay? Oh yeah, I'm fine. I just a headache. Do you want me to get you anything? Um, maybe some water? Yeah, it's okay. I'll get it. Elia, it's your birthday. Awesome. Maybe a ghost can bake me a cake. <laughs> um, when we're out of here, I'll make you a cake. Really? Are you kidding me? If we survive this, I'll cook you a birthday feast. Thanks. Here. Mm. I had it feels like it's on fire. Do you want to lay down? Yeah, I think I might have to. Yeah. Are you going to be okay being by yourself? <sighs> yeah, I'll be fine. Just keep working on it. Is it just me or is this house getting louder? It's not just you. I waited too long, didn't I? For what? Tell you how I feel. I waited too long. I should have known I didn't have forever. Okay. So. You have feelings for me. Okay, see. I don't have feelings for you. I'm in love with you. And I have been for a very long time. Why didn't you say anything? I don't know. Because I stupidly thought that keeping you as my friend was safer than taking a risk and going for everything that I ever wanted. I thought we told each other everything. Okay. Here's everything. I love you. I have loved you since our very first sleepover, when we stayed up till 3 a.m. laughing, because Tyler Finch lost his <laughs> bathing suit diving into the pool. <laughs> the way you care about people. How headstrong you are, that cute face you make when you're confused, even how you're looking at me right now, all angry and conflicted, I love it all.
Jack. I don't. I see it all over your face when you look at her. I can't explain it. I don't think I could bear it if you did. Listen, Jack. I do love you. You're my best friend. My family. There's nothing I wouldn't do for you. Yet it's still not quite enough, is it? It's like everything that's happened has brought me here to meet her. I know, it's crazy, we don't even know each other, but when I'm beside her, I can't breathe properly. It's like she was always meant to be there. You got it bad, don't you? I'm so sorry. No, no, there's nothing to be sorry about. I don't even know if she feels the same way. She does. And deep down, I think you know that. <laughs>